Safety Controller PSC1 Remote I.O. Communication Remote I.O. modules can be used to extend the safety controller distribution with inputs and outputs. They do not have their own logic. Between the safety controller and the field devices, only measuring and actuating signals are safely transmitted. Two examples to illustrate this. Example 1. Safe remote I.O. communication triggered by emergency stop. With the actuation of the emergency stop command and system component 2, the remote I.O. module sends a telegram with the information emergency stop actuated to the upstream safety controller. The communication takes place via Ethernet using the internal communication module and the safe device-to-device -device communication protocol, SDDC for short. The safety control shuts down the drive in the system component 1 via the safe outputs and stops the feeder process. The error is displayed via a status output signal. The detected fault emergency stop is at the same time transferred to the internal universal communication module. The communication module sends the command shut down outputs to the remote I.O. module so that the motor is shut down. Simultaneously, the information emergency stop is sent as a telegram via Ethernet SDDC to all remotely connected safety controllers. The outputs of the connected motors are shut down from the internal communication module and the internal logic of the control modules. The fault is signaled via an indicator light. Because of the emergency stop command to System 2, all system components are shut down. Example 2. Secure remote I.O. communication triggered by a sensor. With the actuation of the sensor signals, such as by opening a safety door, the remote I.O. module A sends a telegram with the information sensor actuated to the upstream safety controller. The communication is performed via the internal communication module via Ethernet SDDC. The internal logic of the controller 1 detects the sensor signal from the remote I.O. module and activates the drive-in system component 1 via the safe outputs. The feeder process for System Component 2 is shut down and the error is signaled via an indicator light. The detected fault, sensor actuated, is at the same time transferred to the internal universal communication module. The communication module sends the command shut down outputs back to the remote I.O. module. The motor is then shut down and the error is signaled via an indicator light. While the system components 1 and 2 are shut down due to the open safety door, the downstream system components 3 and 4 can continue to produce.